Did y'all put turmeric in this wheat tea before or after? We infused turmeric into the oil.
Ta-da! It's a ring. I really fucking need this money, dude. I've been working my ass off here for four years. I know I only wash dishes. And you still just wash dishes. But That's I wash a lot do. of fucking dishes, dude. You wash dishes. That's I'll work the money it. off. It's not even a big deal because it's I will a work the dollars. fucking it money. It is a big deal for a dishwasher. We need somebody in the kitchen. If you can step it up and work in the kitchen, I think about giving you a thousand dollars. That's fine. It's going to take me a couple weeks you to work it out. You think you could do that? My paychecks are going to go to y'all. You think you could do that? I can do that. All um, right. We'll go tell Charlie to open up the safe and give you a thousand bucks. Thank you. And I no want my money. Deal. It's no big deal. I want my money, and I want you to step up, and I want you to care a little more about what's going on around here. Thank you. Be more responsible no around deal. here. Thank you, thank you. I wonder what it'd be like to live in Montreal. Probably cold. I bet it's perfect in the summer. Next year I'll go. I think Greyhound goes that far. Maybe I should get a fish. No. A fish is too much responsibility. If I had a fish, I couldn't take that trip to Montreal. This guy didn't even touch his cornbread. I hope nobody saw that. Geraldine, what's your name? Princess. I'll sit here and you draw a picture of me, okay? Okay, you sit here. Okay, ready? Sit on. Okay, my card's full, so you want to come see what we got so far? Aoki Monday, let's go this way. Let's go to the piano. Okay, I'll be there in just a second. Who is this? There were a lot of people at Max's party the other night. I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I'm Max's friend. Oh, hi, how are you? Hey, well, I had a, an opportunity come up. Uh, one okay. of my actors dropped off. Uh huh. I think it's kind of serendipitous because I could envision you in this part. I don't know, we're going to be filming tonight if you want to come by, see what it's all about. We have a pretty big budget. We'll make it work for you. I already have plans tonight. Um, 
Think about it. You know, we have a pretty big budget. We're going to pay you well. It's going to be a big movie. I really think, uh, you know, if you want to get your hands in on acting here, you know, lights, camera, action, it's all pointed at you. Okay, well, how about I call you back? You can call me back, but I have a feeling I'm going to see you later. Right. Um, is there an address? Like, where is the... I could text you the address, and, you know, we're going to be there filming all night, so let's make it happen. I'm probably thinking uh, two grand. Eleven. Eleven grand? You must be fuck out of your fucking mind. That's what it's worth. Uh, well, if I was going to put this on the lot, maybe. But I got to chop it up, buddy. Twenty-five hundred. Okay, I'll bring something better next time. All right. Good. Let's get it in the garage. I just am here. That's it. This is like my life. This is my entire existence, just being here. And I still don't have any money. And it kind of makes me want to die, actually, just because um, everything fucking sucks. Uh, yeah, death. Death is about all I have to look forward to. That's about it. You know, it's like at least then the suffering will stop. And that's a good thing because. Uh, you know, I'm just fucking sick of this shit, dude. I'm playing a show tonight. I mean, maybe you should come down. I mean, everyone's feeling that way. I mean, it, it'll be good to just, like, hang out with people who feel the same way you do, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't really have the energy today. But thanks. got married. <laughs> oh yeah? Did you give me a ring? Oh, you wouldn't marry me, would you? No. 
Maybe. No or maybe. Like, I'll get a ring. Well, where's the ring? I'm going to get it. That's a yes. No. <laughs> I was. I didn't say yes. I said, where's the ring? It doesn't mean yes. It's pretty good, though. It's like, maybe I'll think about it. Well, then I'll get a ring. Sorry, like. Oh, I'm fucking sorry. Yes. I'm fucking tired of hearing that. I'm sorry. You're always sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we not make a big deal? I don't about believe it? you. You already said yes. To what? Oh my god. Oh, marry me. We'll run away together. Fuck yeah, this shit. Can do that. God damn it. You're gonna this fucking shit. throw this shit at me? Yeah. It's this shit right here. It's this. It's a fucking. Stupid yeah, no, it fucking is, yeah. drink. Oh, it's a drink. Oh, yeah, let me have some. Oh, so good. It's the I hate you. Just go home. No, you Just go. go. Yeah, you're no. going shit. No, you leave. Just fucking you go. Leave. Oh my god. This is my grandma's house. Oh, you get the fuck god. out. No, don't touch me. Don't you're going me. to no, leave. I don't I, want you to I be here. Leave. Like, you're leave. throwing shit. You just hurt my arm. You broke my goddamn dog bowl. Fuck you. That was my grandma's fucking dog bowl, dude. For real. I know you're inside.
Is this your vehicle? Yes, sir. Do you know why it's not your machine? Probably because the tag. Yeah, what's going on? Because I just got this car. Okay. And I fucking, for some reason, dude, I don't know why, because I have like 30 days to get it. It's got okay. insurance. Who's tag? It's my truck tag, dude. And I put oh, it on you there. You 685 Wiley Street. But I've had it, if you look on there, man. Okay. Like, and I don't, the title's at my mom's. So who, whose tag, is the tag your tag or is it registered to somebody else? The tag is mine. In your um, name? Yes, sir. Do you my, have your driver's license? Man, I never, I never have it, but I have a valid license. Okay. I'm you all, have any kind of photo ID? No, nah, I don't have it on me. Okay, right. I'm just going to detain you. Okay. I'm going to detain you until I forget where you are. Okay, here. Uh, I don't have a warrant or anything, do I? Do you have anything I could write with? You're thinking about someone, aren't you? Maybe I am. It's a woman. Say that it was. You really messed up this time, didn't you? I mean, it's just a DUI, but yeah, it's gonna fuck up my finances pretty bad. I don't have fucking very much money already. Every girl has a price. You just can't afford it this time. I have a way of getting things. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's her name? The girl. Doesn't matter. She did have a name, <clears throat> be Geraldine. I'm gonna help you, and Geraldine's gonna be yours. There is something I want. I mean, kinda expensive. Just give me something to write with. Geraldine, I need you to go get my car out of the impound. You can have the Mazda if you get it. It's only gonna be $200 tomorrow, the money's in my bank account. I don't need it, I'm gonna ride my bike to work. Just please go get it. Geraldine drives off a cliff and dies. No, I'm not really dead. I'm just dead inside. 
wasting my whole life with Waylon. You don't say that to me, Geraldine. I've been here for you, washing your dishes. I, I, I'm your man. You need me. Get away from me, Waylon. I love you so much, Geraldine. Well, if you love me, you wouldn't go to jail all the time. Hey, both of you, shut up. You're both stupid. Don't you know that? You need each other. Uh, Geraldine, please forgive me. I, I want to marry you. No, you'll never marry me because you'll never get me a ring. I want to go to Hollywood and be in movies. I want to be a famous star. Well, Geraldine, I can't really do that for you. Please, please let me be in your movie. Well, I'm not going to make any promises, Geraldine. Well, don't ever leave me because I need you. I don't want to marry a dishwasher. I know I'm on fire. Put it out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, Geraldine, hug me. Hug me. I'm on fire. Oh, 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 oh. I can't see. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 stop dropping oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Big breaths. Hey there. Nice day for a walk in the garden, am I right? Ugh. Listen, I got something for you. But first, I'm gonna need something from you. I need to know what it is you believe in. What is it you believe in? I need to know now. Uh, Buddha? Jesus, the universe, Lucifer, the rock, Adam Sandler. No names. Just feel the feeling of belief. 
and amplify it. I got something that'll help. I'll be right back. Way right here.
a color Tangled up in heaps on the floor I don't want I don't want Super well. Do you think you could um, bust tables for the rest of the shift? I, I gotta oh, get man. out of here, man. I'll, I'll give you 20 bucks. Man, I gotta prep. I gotta finish cooking these orders, and I gotta clean up in the kitchen, man. How I'm gonna do all that? And I gotta bust tables in the front. I'm not feeling well, man. I I, I gotta get out of here. I'll, can you can can you just do it for me, please? I'll I'll get you back, man. I'll I'll pay you. Uh, I'm trying to get out of here early, man. 40 bucks, man. I'll give you 40 bucks. Man, give me a hundred. I'll do it for a hundred. I'm just not trying to work for you, man. Alright. Right. Hey, 28 bucks, dude. That's all I got. I'll give you the rest on Friday when we get paid. I gotta catch this bus, man. Just thank you. Man, man, I asked you for a hundred bucks. Dude, not $28 an hour. You? I got you. you? don't care. Cut. All right, Philip. I need less from you. You're putting all this soul into it. You're supposed to be dead, man. Even your own violent death means nothing to you. I don't care. Exactly. I don't Beth, care. I need to see the uncertainty in your eyes. I want you to hold the knife up higher. I want to get it in frame. And when you stab yourself, I want you to mean it. I want you to stab yourself. Okay. Like you love this knife. And it's going to bring you to Lars for eternity. Okay. Okay. Gary, stop breathing so loud. I'm sorry. Get back to your places. We're going to do another take. Take off your glasses too, Beth. Not you, Gary, leave your glasses on. But maybe cut back on the smoking, okay, bud?
Death Around the Corner. Scene 1, take 5. Death Around the Corner, Scene 1, Take 23. Action. I don't care. Oh my god. Cut! Give me the knife. No. I don't care. Can we move on? Yeah, we can move on. I'm just trying to squeeze the soul out of you. Look, can I take a break? Maybe it'll help me empty my soul. Yeah. What's left in your soul? I haven't seen much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 
Hello. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. I really need your help again. Can you please come to my set? I just fired someone. I need you to replace her. I can't. I'm busy tonight. Maybe sometime next week. Can I get back to you? I get hired. A whole crew. I need you to be here, Lisa. Please, please, please. Think of all the things I've done for you. I bailed your brother out of jail. I don't know what to tell you. Listen, like, I'm busy tonight. Lisa, I'm going to end up moving to L.A. soon, and I'm just sick of all the people yeah. here. You know, everyone, you and all your friends, you just sit around just talking about crap, and you don't do anything with your life. I'm giving you an opportunity here. I should be in L.A., where people take things seriously. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa! I hope you do move to L.A. Good luck. Good luck to you, Lisa. I hope... Just get the fuck out of here. Just take your pasta salad and leave. You, you sound like you don't even want to do this right now. Do you not believe in what this is? This is more than a movie. It's an opportunity for you. Thanks. I love sound here. Give me something. Yeah. I'll just, uh, give me something to believe in right here. Yeah. Oh, look. Look. Big words, little hands. Okay.
That was perfect, Geraldine. Let's move on. Hey, how much longer are we going to be filming? Geraldine, um, just a few more shots. I, I appreciate this so much. I'll get you out of here by midnight. Is that okay? Okay. Hey. Really, thank you so much. You were so great in that last scene. Here. It's great what you've done so far. It's just money. It means nothing. Thank you. Okay, so this next scene, I promise, it's going to be like the pivotal point of the movie. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be perfect in it. I'll, I'll show you everything. I just got it all set up for you. Okay. What is the next scene? I'll show you. Lars and Liza make love. I'm not doing that. I, I know it, it's not like that. It's a part of their their journey together. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm going to pay you. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. And it means nothing to me. Sure, no problem. Have it regardless. Thank you, I will. Good. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye. dishwasher, okay?
Hey. What the fuck, Waylon? Creep? Sorry, I was just had my bike. I didn't bring a lock. Are you trying to be creepy or does it come naturally? You know it comes natural. I was just hiding my bike in the bushes back there. Come on. Whatever, creep. Geraldine. I know I fuck up a lot. But I fuck up a lot less when I'm with you. I've been thinking about this. And I hate just about everything and everyone in the world but you. Geraldine. Will you marry me? Where's the ring? I think I lost it. You're such a loser. Are you coming inside or not? Yeah, I'm coming. Cut! Alright, alright, that was good. I'm satisfied for now. But get ready for the next scene. Interior bedroom night. Page 45 of your scripts. Alice, Paul, I'll meet you inside in a minute. Zeno! Zeno! Run the cables to AV. I'll be right there. Ted. Yeah. Cue up that last take now. Yeah, just a sec. I know I fuck up a lot. But I fuck up a lot. There's less. something magical here, isn't there, Ted? When I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of magic here. You marry me. Have you ever suffered, Ted? Where's the ring? I lost it. I mean. You're such a loser. No, I guess not. Keep capturing the magic, Ted. Okay, I'll keep I'll, I'll keep capturing the magic. You're doing a great job. Are you coming inside or Think we could have the next shot off in ten? Yeah, I don't see why not. Good. Cut! Alright guys, let's get a new shot set up. We got ten minutes. Nick, can I get a 1K in the window? This front window, please? And also hot bricks in the cameras and coffee? Where's Alice? She's touching up her makeup. So, what's the deal with my character? I mean, this guy's a total freaking loser. I don't have a car. I'm always broke. I wash goddamn dishes for a living. I mean, this guy's pathetic. What does Geraldine even see in this loser? She should have dumped his douchebag ass a long time ago. I mean, obviously, he's not fit for a relationship. What does she even see in me? What does she see in you? Hmm. Maybe she sees someone that's her equal. Geraldine and Waylon are not so different. They're both screw-ups. But why does he sabotage the relationship with her if they're so perfect for each other? I mean, what's my motive here? There's no motive, Paul. Act on impulse, just like Waylon would. He doesn't know what's good for him. And any time something feels good, he just can't even take it. I know what that's like. I know you do. That's why I hired you, Paul. I know you're a good actor. Maybe you're not better than the guy who washes dishes. Come in. I'm getting ready for my close-up, darling. You know, I'm so lucky to have you on this movie. I'm lucky to be here. You wrote a great script. It is great, isn't it? You know your lines? By heart. What about the subtext? Um, I'm not quite sure. Mm. Well, you're pregnant with Waylon's child, and he doesn't know it. You're about to tell him at the beginning of the scene, but you decide not to because he pissed you off so much. 
So you decide to cut ties with him forever and raise a child on your own. Wow. That's messed up. Well, Geraldine's kind of messed up. You know, sometimes I like to turn my problems into art. Oh, yeah? I want you to really portray the cold bitch that she is. I think I can do that. Oh. Hey, look at me. Good girl. You do on set in five. I'll be there. Your star. I know. You ready, Teddy? Yeah, just about. God damn it! It's supposed to be red. The moon illuminates red. Chaos is comfort. Chaos is comfort. You dropped the chair, Paul. Be on set in five. Chaos is comfort. What are you doing? I'm putting a light through the window to replicate moonlight, like the script asked for. The moon illuminates red. Could you not read? Are you colorblind? It's commonplace to use blue. If you want me to change it, it's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's commonplace to fire you for being an idiot on my set. Really? Now leave. Leave. Okay. Psychopath? Yeah. I'm a psychopath who writes your check. You're replaceable, you know. Mail. Goodbye. The moon illuminates red. How'd that look? I don't care. No. Blue light would look better. That guy was right. 
Now I feel bad. Ah. All right. I'm in control now. It's gonna be okay. The moon illuminates blue. Ha! <laughs> Wax on, wax off like Mr. Miyagi Wet behind the ears, but she never ever saw me Always lies to me, sat calm with the farm Vacuum in the crevices, cleaning out the trunk Well, dust around Edward? Yep, that's me This is Zinnia with the local hour on Project 88 And streaming HD1 and HD2 on WRAZ so before we get into the music we just heard, I have a few announcements for you. Are you in need of more live music? If so, check out Nick Nasty for the Live Jams Entertainment Hour every Thursday at 7. The songs we just heard were He Shall Be the Horseman by Goose Hinkle, who was an English pianist born in 1862. And before that, we heard Crazy Man in a field by Sylvia Shapiro. Daniel? Yep. I mentioned last break that she was an American jazz guitarist. How's it going? Doing well, thanks. Was in blues and jazz clubs in the 20s and 30s. If you have any questions while I'm here in the station, feel free to call. We will also be giving away free tickets to the film festival later in the day, so stay tuned for details on that. Coming up for the second half of the show, we are going to kick it off with Low Valley Hearts hey. and their song Dreams. Hey, you going to the film Park. festival? Yeah, man, I'm going. Pretty cool. Yeah, super excited. What about you, man? You going? No, not this year. I want the last few years. Yeah, me too. Wait a minute. You showed a film, right? Mm-hmm. You, okay, you did uh, Death Around the Corner. That was my movie. Yeah, that one was great. I, you kind of really liked that, though. I did. I, I liked it a lot. I thought it was interesting. It was very unique. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I wrote that to annoy people. And the weirdest thing is, with art movies, the more pretentious and vague you make it, the more everyone loves it. Huh. I think they're afraid to admit that they don't understand it. Huh. It kind of became an obsession. I wanted to make the movies this more This guy more is abstract. kind of an asshole. I pushed away huh. pretty much my whole life. Did I life. feed my fish? I just feel like I've exhausted myself and sometimes when you try so hard for something, feels like you lose your reason. I should have walked. How are you boys doing back there, everybody okay? Driver, I would like to thank you for your professionalism today. I appreciate that. I really do. Gotcha! <laughs> no, but seriously. Before we continue, I'm going to need to know one thing. I'm going to need to know what it is you boys believe in. And I'm going to need to know right now. What do you mean? Like a religion? I think you know what I mean. David Lynch? No. Gluten-free diet? Not, not quite. Hey, man. Um, the light just turned green. Don't worry about that. I got this under control. I don't really know what you're asking right now. I just need to know what it is you believe in. Volcanic activity? It's not it. Nihilism? Grass-fed beef? Nihilism? Um, no, that's not it. Al Gore? Mm. A little warmer, I guess. What about you? I really don't know, man. I have no idea. Climate change? Close. Get a little warmer. Tectonic plates? Not exactly. <laughs> 